So last week on Thursday, March 26th, I'm about to go start a journey of driving 30 hours to Las Vegas to meet up with Hamza Ahmed and some of the other boys in this community. This is insane because my dad is bringing me. See, most parents would never do this. Most parents wouldn't even drive two hours for something like this to meet up with some random guy on YouTube, right? Most parents would not agree to this, let alone like actually do it for you and drive you the amount of distance and put in the amount of effort they did for me. And this has changed, this experience has changed my life just this past weekend. This experience has fucking changed my fucking life, bro. Thursday of last week, not this Thursday, just a couple days ago, but the Thursday, like, I don't know, nine days ago or something. That was the first day of drive. Bro, we drove for like two days. We drove for two fucking days. And then I got dinner with some so the boys. I got, and then we went to like, er, we woke up early in the morning, super like fucking sleep deprived, sleep deprived and everything. <sighs> My my dad literally was sleep deprived himself to get me to meet up with Hamza at 6 a.m. in the morning, going on runs. It's beautiful to have parents like this. It's beautiful to be able to have the freedom of such like such amazing role models it's such it's such an amazing thing to have this to have that weight dropped off of you it's, it's like an anchor is dropped off of you you feel like you feel light in the day you feel good like you feel light you don't feel like you're all heavy and kind of like slow and sluggish you feel like kind of light and bouncy it feels like you know it feels good you feel free in your own body and you don't feel like you're constrained by your parents and what their belief systems are and, and how they force those upon you. Now, sure, they're legally whatever the fuck. They're legally fucking own you and shit. Fine. But it's just immoral to not let your, like, your child follow. Now, sure, okay, there's some parents fucking watching this video, some old motherfuckers. Saying like, oh, but uh, you know, like uh, Max, bro, you don't know what you're talking about. You're only 13 years old, bro. Uh, uh, bro, actually, bro, uh, you know, we we should fucking control what the fuck you think, and we should control what your life fucking is. Shut the fuck up, bro. I'm. It's my own life. Sure, you have legal rights over me, but it's my own life, right? I get my freedom of fucking speech and opinion, bro. I get my freedom of what I, my dreams are. You don't have to like force me to do some shit. When that shit isn't even, like... It's not aligned to me, bro. And honestly, sure, like... It's legal to do it. But is it, like, moral? Like, honestly, if I was a parent... You know, obviously, I haven't done research into it yet. But... It's just amazing that so many parents are... Kind of, like, like... In a way, owners of their children. Sure, you gave birth to them, but it's... It's still, like, most parents don't realize, like, the humanity of their children. It's so weird and, like, fucked up. But, like, you don't realize, like, your, your, your child is, like, a human. You don't realize that they have their own, like, dreams and desires and, like, aspirations. So for the teenagers out there who have these parents that don't let them do anything, don't let you follow your dreams and everything, and just are honestly kind of shitty. I have one thing for you. Hey bro, real quick, go subscribe to my channel down below. My, my videos are basically just about my experiences and how I'm coping with life as a teenager. So if that sounds cool to you, go subscribe. I have free coaching down in the description. It's basically just a Discord server, but you can DM me for the coaching details. It's completely free for now. Eventually I'll make it paid, but for now it's completely free. Go down and join that. And let's get back to it. You need to see it from their perspective. You need to think about it this way. 
most parents want the best for you. Even if it isn't actually the best for you, the thing is they, they think they know what you want. They think they know what's best for you. And so then they choose that because they think it's best for you, right? That's kind of wholesome, right? So you need to see it from their perspective. The only problem is they're just indoctrinated. They're just brainwashed. So they are brainwashed into believing the propaganda. And they don't let you have an opinion. They don't let you speak out. They don't even let you have like an adult conversation. Now you can, if your parents are somewhat kind of like good and let you talk and explain things, then you can have some sort of adult conversation with them. You can sit down, have like a full adult conversation with them. But if they seriously have no respect for you and they see you as just like this, they don't respect you, right? And they just interrupt you constantly. Like you try to have an adult conversation and then they just have these these interruptions, these emotional, nonsensical interruptions. Like they'll just say like some stupid shit that doesn't make sense. It's not logical. But since they're feminine, they'll have this emotional interruption because they don't want you to. They don't want to have this realization of the truth. Because deep, the only reason they do this is because deep down they know that you're right. Anyone who knows they're right, who genuinely knows they're right, doesn't have to emotionally, you know, emotionally express themselves. As men, anyways. As men, we don't have to emotionally express themselves, express ourselves when we're we know we're right. So if they know they're right, they wouldn't get all emotional. So deep down, they know you're right. But they have to give an excuse for it. They have to make sure that make sure that they're right. They have to come up with with something to say. They have to come up with a reason for you to be wrong. Which is sad, you know, it's 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 kind of sad, honestly. But it's the truth of the world. If you can't accept that truth, then you're not going to have many good life skills. So you have to accept what other people think. That your parents want the best for you. They're simply uneducated and emotional. So the best you can do, if you're in this situation where your parents genuinely suck, And you genuinely can't do anything about it. I was just watching this movie last night. And most guys on self-improvement say movies are bad. You don't want to watch movies. Which I agree with. But certain in certain situations, like for my example, I watch movies pretty often. But it's not just for entertainment. I genuinely like watch movies to see like what lessons can I learn from this. So I was watching a movie last night. And it was about this girl basically like she's in a muslim family her father's an asshole um her mom's kind of an asshole but like also loving and shit so it's like it's this weird dynamic and basically they're very strict parents and they're like very strict muslims and like basically they don't let their daughter have any freedom at all because they're like scared she's gonna go in contact with boys and shit and basically what i learned from this this show this movie is like, I was thinking, what what would I do in this situation? I was thinking, if I was this girl and I was like a young man in this situation, what would I do? And I, I thought to myself, and I was thinking, I would be grinding the fuck out. Like, I would be in my room most of the day just grinding the fuck, like, grinding my ass until I couldn't, I couldn't stay awake anymore. I would be doing like push-ups and push-ups in my room, getting fucking jacked on the floor doing squats and push-ups, and I would be recording videos on, like, my situation, how I'm coping with it, how I'm, how I'm retaining my mental health in this tough situation, I'll be recording videos about that. Now, obviously, I have good parents, and, like, parents that, that, that pretty much support me in most of my journey, but I was just thinking, what would I do in this situation? Honestly, I would be meditating a lot, I would be trying to maintain clarity and, sanity in the situation 
and I would be grinding my ass off until I couldn't stay awake anymore. And I would be semi-sleep deprived because the only way to free myself from the situation is to make money and provide for the family. As soon as you fucking make, start making a lot of money and start providing for the people that didn't believe in you, they'll believe in you. All of a sudden, they'll be like, nice to you and, and all this. Like, Hamza, he tells this story, Hamza Ahmed. He tells this story of like, you know, his, his parents used to not believe in him, kind of treat him like a baby and everything. And as soon as he started making a bunch of money and like actually was very serious about it, and started literally, like, he literally retired his whole family. That's when they fucking respected the fuck out of him. And he had, like, Pakistani, like, Asian, like, strict, like, like, those types of parents, right? So as soon as you start making money and providing, like, your money speaks, right? Money speaks loud. But meanwhile, what you don't, you gotta be grinding the fucking, like, you gotta be grinding your ass off. If your parents are that shitty... That's what you need to do. You need to, like, honestly just accept it. Now, it's, it's fucking nice as fuck. It, it's, 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 I'm so grateful for it. To have parents where you're able to have freedom. Where you're able to, like, homeschool and save so much time. And progress so much faster in business. But... You need to do what you need to do in in between the boundaries. And sometimes you're going to need to hide shit from your parents. It's sad. You know, it's it's sad that we have to do this. Like, I don't want to, like, I wouldn't want to hide shit from my parents, obviously. Like, my, my parents aren't as strict. But you probably don't want to, like, if your parents are strict as fuck. And they won't let you, like, do the vital habits of, like, self-improvement and everything. Then you honestly, like, you need to, like, it's sad to say this, but you need to, like, hide some shit. Because honestly, if your parents are that bad, you need to like, you need to know it's right for you. And you need to follow your dreams authentically and ruthlessly. And if your parents get in the way from that, you're get in the way of that, you're going to need to overcome that hurdle. You're ne- going to need to push through it in some way or another. And you can either wait a long time until you're 18, have some sort of freedom to do anything, or you can just hide it right now and develop that success and then have that good relationship with your parents where you're providing for them providing value for the family so what i would do in a shitty parent situation is i would be grinding my ass off in my room until i couldn't stay awake anymore I would be looking for opportunities wherever I could. I would be dissatisfied as fuck with my situation. And I wouldn't let this style of life be my life anymore. So obviously, if if you can have an adult conversation with your parents, if you can speak to them and kind of create like this presentation of what you want your life to be like and they're kind of semi receptive to it. If they even like let you talk, then that's that is like that is almost the best you can get. Now obviously my parents are almost almost the best you can get. But if you can if they let you talk, that's like that's better than a lot of people. So if they let you talk and, and let you say something and kind of listen to you in any way shape or form, then that's a step in the right direction. And then you can have this conversation with them, explain your future, have all the answers ready, and be able to answer their questions and break all their limiting beliefs. But if they don't let you talk, if they interrupt you emotionally, nonsensically, then you're going to need to deal with it. And you're going to need to either fight them. You're going to need to either have arguments and be grinding away in your room, hiding shit from them, or you're going to have to wait a few years until you're 18, can move out, have any, like, kind of sort of freedom. And then you've just realized you've wasted a few years of your life because you just did what your parents wanted you to do. Which is kind of nice, but it's not you. You lived a false life for years, and you wasted that amount of time. You were living your parents' life. 
So choose one of these two options, but I know which one I would choose. And if you're in this situation, I wish you the best of luck, bro. Peace out. I love you, bro. And I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm. Mwah!